Okay, so today I'm gonna to be having a quick look at the ASUS P7P55DE Pro. So this is an updated version of the old P7P55D Pro, and by old, I mean new, but not quite old enough to include, or too old to include, okay, blah, 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 blah. True USB 3.0 and true SATA 6 gigabit per second. Bam, that is your big selling point for this and a lot of the other new P55 boards that have been coming out. I mean, I know the P55 launch wasn't that long ago, but because these two new technologies are so important, many of the motherboard manufacturers are releasing new boards so they can get on board with those technologies right away. So let's go through what is special about this board. Hybrid technology includes their easy tune overclocking, express gate, uh, Linux operating system, blip -de -blip -de whatever, okay. Hybrid processor, Turbo V Evo, Okay, OC, blah, 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 okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Thermal probes. So they have temperature probes in all of the voltage regulator modules that will adjust for the power load as well as the temperature to ensure that you're always getting the best performance possible out of them. Okay, next one is the true USB 3.0 and true SATA 6 gigabit per second performance. That is very cool, obviously. And then next is any memory is A-OK, -okay, so it's their Memo K technology that allows you to post even with overclocked sort of memory modules. Now, I'm going to use this chair as a substitute for a real cameraman here and adjust it so we can have a look at the motherboard while we unbox. Okay, so there is the board box itself. Let's get this open. Okay, so the first thing we have here is the IO shield. It's in one of those new stylish black IO shields and you can see they've clearly marked the two USB 3.0 ports with a white box around them. That's kind of handy because if you're looking for those, it's nice to have them, well, marked. Okay, then we have a USB and ESA. There, that is awesome. I am so tired of seeing like USB FireWire combo ports. I mean, who uses FireWire anyway? USB eSATA, ASUS has it figured out. All right, there is an IDE cable, so they've got it less figured out. There's still IDE, but what can you do? And we have an SLI bridge, so you can assume that this is an SLI supporting board. Okay, we've got their Q connector technology, and then we have four SATA cables. They are black and they are straight and right angled. There's two of each. Okay, then we have the user's guide as well as a driver DVD, do not use this, download the latest drivers, and oh. Well, sorry about that, my memory card actually filled up while I was in the middle of my unboxing, so here is the user guide, as well as the driver DVD, don't use that, etc, etc. And then we have the ASUS Q Design and DIY features, where they're basically giving you a quick rundown of all of the cool features that it has. So it has a CPU socket. Wow, okay, it has Memo K, we already talked about that, so there's no need to go into that any further. QDIM is an out-of-box idea for easy installation. Basically, that means that when you're installing memory modules in this board, there's only a connector on one side. Very cool, I'll show you more about that in a moment. Q slot is the new retaining mechanism that ASUS has designed to make removing board, um, removing but video cards, very, very easy. You can use the pencil eraser, okay? QLED, uh, that's not really very cool. Okay, overvolt switches, this is neat. So there's a hardware switch to actually enable overvolting features. And vertical SATA ports have been around for a million and one years, so we're not too concerned about that. And easy RAM overclocking modes. Okay, well, those have been around for a while too, so you're like two for six anyway. Good job, Asus. Okay, so let's get the board itself out here. So here is the P7P55D-E Pro. There we go. So why don't we do a quick rundown of the overall feature set of this particular motherboard. I'm going to move my camera back a little bit and adjust it so that you can have a look here. So first of all, here's your LGA 1156 socket that you'll find on all P55 boards. Here is your dual channel DDR3 memory. And this is the QDIM thing they were talking about. You can see that on this side, these aren't actually clips. Like here, have a look from the side. Uh, if I can get that in there. Yeah, these are not clips. So you basically just slide the module in from this side and then open up the clip, put it in, and then clip it in. Very cool feature, actually. Okay, so here is their 16-phase uh, hybrid power, which is actually 12 plus 2 phases, okay? And then you've got your 24-pin power connector as well as your 8-pin power connector in their optimal locations at the edge and top of the board, respectively. Let's have a look at the PCI Express layout. So if you were going to use Crossfire or SLI on this motherboard, which you could, you would be left with an additional PCIe, a PCI, and another PCIe 1X 
So that's a pretty ideal layout given that most of the expansion cards these days are moving towards PCI Express. This isn't a premium premium board, so you're not going to find any onboard power buttons or uh, four pin CPU, or sorry, not CPU, four pin fan headers or any of that kind of fancy stuff, but it is still fairly feature rich as far as the overclocking features go. So actually, you know what, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a quick look. These are our SATA six gigabit per second ports. So all of the blue ones are SATA 2 or SATA 3.0 gigabit per second. And then these gray ones down here are SATA 3 gigabit per second. I think we've covered most of the features on the front of the board. Oh yeah, here's the memo K button in case you were wondering. And here's your little dip switch to overvolt the RAM. That's also pretty cool. Wow, that's really hard to press. They don't want you pressing that by accident, that's for sure. Here's a quick look at the VRM cooling solution. I kind of like these. It kind of like, they're kind of ice fortressy, for lack of a better word. Anyway, here is the back of the board, the moment you've all been waiting for. You've got PS2 ports, and they're back to two PS2 ports on this board. Then we have six SATA, or six SATA, six USB ports, 2.0, and then we have two digital audio ports. We've got a Firewire and an eSATA, and then we have Gigabit Ethernet and 7.1 audio Oh wait, there's more! USB 3.0, there they are. So USB 3.0 is up to five gigabit per second. So you're looking at maxing out any hard drive with a USB 3.0 connection, which makes it actually faster than eSATA 2, which is very, very cool. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the ASUS P7P55D-E Deluxe, or something like that, 55D-E Pro, thank you.